Hi Reread Bookers! I'm back! So I read this book on my Nook and the book that I'm talking about is called The Selection by Kira Cass. I really like the cover. I think it's really cool and it's kind of what drew me to it. Um, I just like all the dresses and the girls and stuff. Really cool. So in my opinion there's far too much pale skin in here. Um, I don't even think there's one like diverse non-white person in this book which in my opinion is kind of disgusting. Um, if that's not the way the world is, so nice try, Kira Cass, but not quite. A little bit on the novel that kind of tells you about it, it says 35 girls, one crown, the competition of a lifetime. And then I find out through this book that it's a dystopian novel. It takes place in America like 300 years later. America isn't America anymore, it's called something else, and so our main character is called America. In America's new country of America, um, there's now a king and a queen, and a prince and this prince in order to raise morale in the country um, they do this thing called the selection which is basically um, a bunch of girls between the ages of like 17 and like 23 or something they enter their name and then if they are chosen then they can be Prince Maxon's um, part of his selection and there's 35 girls that get chosen and there's only one winner which will become his wife aka the princess and I'm kind of like uh, weary of it but I do want to read it because I found it and I thought it looked okay however um, despite these preconceived notions just from like the first few chapters I I actually did really enjoy this book. Um, there's definitely parts of it where I was like, this is really happening, we're doing this, you know, uh, bachelorette style thing. I did I did like it. Um, our main character, I think, is what really did it for me. America Singer is a great main character. Um, she's really strong and brave, and she's not there to win Prince Maxon's heart. She's actually there kind of on accident, and she actually has another love back home waiting um, that is kind of falling apart. And so she has these two things happen to her, and she doesn't want to be with Prince Maxon. And so they kind of form a friendship, and he, she's kind of his inside girl to all the other girls. And she'll help him out if, he, if she can stay in the palace, because she doesn't want to be back at home with her other guy. And her family's really poor, and um, she gets money for being at the palace, and the, the family gets money. So it's kind of like a win-win for both her and Prince Maxon. However, obviously, no kidding, um... They end up falling kind of for each other, and then this other guy comes back into her life, and so she's kind of stuck. Um, and who does she pick? And it's like, I think that's, that seems like a kind of boring story to me. So the author has definitely made this more interesting for us. This futuristic world is, is very interesting. There are many parts of the country that are called the rebels, and they're trying to always break into the castle and like kill everyone or find something, and no one knows what they want. Um, but they always seem to be searching for something when they raid the castle. And so there's kind of this dangerous element outside the castle, besides like the selection isn't the only thing that's going on. And I find th that's really interesting. Um, the history of how this new America formed is very interesting as well. And what I find most most interesting about this book is the caste system. Yes, there's a caste system in America at this point. Um, you are numbered one through eight, and one is like the royal family, two is like a little bit better, three is okay, four you're basically screwed, and then five, six, seven, eight. Eight is like slaves basically. Um, America is a five, and she is kind of like into the arts, like that's what the fives do, and so she plays instruments and basically um, performs in other people higher up ranked houses. Um, and so it, there's an interesting caste system here, and I, I, it's interesting to see how that caste system formed in the first place. I kind of like this book too because I'm not like obsessed, you know, like when you read a, a book with a male character and a girl protagonist, you're like, oh, I'm so in love with this guy, he's so great. Prince Maxon has a lot of flaws, and so does America, and I really like that um, Cass has kind of like put some real human faces on characters for once. I always feel like there's something flawed in characters. A lot of the time you're like, this would never happen, but I can totally see these two people being real people. Um, and I love the characters, and so that's what's really drawing me to this book, and this book ends very abrupt abruptly. Like, you just turn the page and you're like, whoa, it's over? What the hell? Sucky. Um, and I, I did, I finished it in like two days, so I did really enjoy it. Um, if you can, like, put, if, if you... Don't, if you do pick up this novel to read it, don't think of it as like the best book ever. Just think of it as an enjoyable read. Um, it's definitely not the best book ever. Um, there's The whole plot is definitely something that's been overused, but in a different twist. The second book doesn't come out until spring 2013, and it's going to drive me crazy because she ended this one so like, what? 
Um, <laughs> it's called The Elite. I'm actually very excited also to announce that um, the selection is going to start filming a pilot episode on The CW. They're going to try to make it into a TV show. Um, and I think it could have success with that. Um, I googled this and um, the headline was like, um, CW shoots pilot for a Hunger Games-esque novel. And I just, I see the Hunger Game element as in dystopian and like people narrow down into like only one winner. But there's no killing or like, you know, savagery in this. Um, but there's definitely like a caste system, you know, where um, they're all numbered one through eight and then you have in Hunger Games, Panem is like um, numbered into districts. So I, there's some similar similarities, but I wouldn't call it a Hunger Games-esque novel at all. Anyway guys, thanks for watching today. Pick up the selection by Kira Cast. It's really good and I recommend it. So I'll see you guys soon. Bye.